This makes you less attractive. What? So, what do you like in a person? Mmm. My penis? <laughs> Sorry. Many of us would oh. Someone tall, or I like green eyes. Well, what about those times you look at people you've liked in the past and thought to yourself, mm, but they don't all look alike. Or you Sorry, this is like a wholesome video, I think. I don't know. In every single way on paper, but you meet them and wonder, who are you? The okay. answer to that mystery is that attraction is based on three things. You consider them approachable, believe in positive factoids about them, and if they make you feel good. If the trifecta mm. is... And then there's a fourth one, chat. There's a fourth one there that subconsciously you will be more likely to so find them attractive the if they are on Discord and live nine million miles away from you and make it unbearable to have a proper relationship with them. That is the fourth one. Incomplete. This could lead to not being attracted to the person, no matter how Hollywood ask that smile is. Here are six <laughs> psychological things that make you less attractive. All right. Number one, being sleep deprived. Fuck! No matter how much caffeine you swill, <sighs> sleep deprivation takes a toll on everything. Okay. This could ruin the first impression meeting with someone. I got a next and one though. First meet someone, I'm a streamer. I information to decide your <sighs> next steps. Should you get closer or I'm a streamer you back slowly. As humans It's we fine. On We're going to get number 2 chat. Number 2, we got this. We got this. Assessment. So, if you show up looking like a haggard potato. Okay, but the thing is, guys, I have uh I have genetics like my my eyes. I have genetically I how do I say it? I have eye bag genetics. I don't know how to fucking um explain it. But ever since I was young, there's, you can see pictures of me. I have dark circles under my eyes that are like massive eye bags. When I was growing up, I was I thought I was just wasn't getting enough sleep. But then uh, my mom showed me pictures of me as a kid. Number four and... is let me touch feet. <laughs> and I had these bags when I was really young, so it doesn't even make sense because I was going to sleep like a, like a pretty early back in the Your day. selfie or Instagram buddy potential isn't the only thing that's less Thank you, KK Love you. Thank you. Other the attraction two moms. factors like and the the two moms. health and trustworthiness also take a hit. Panda eyes. Yeah, exactly. I've and actually been called that before. Kura, squish, K9, that video is one thing. Squish, K9, and there are Kura, plenty of products squish, K9, and methods Kura, Wait, Kura, body squish. smell? Guys? Do we have this one? Do we have this chat? Number two. Body smell. I think I have thing. pretty nice and body smell. And there are plenty of products and methods to avoid it. Sometimes I, I put my finger in my armpit and I smell it, and it's pretty nice. And comes from your DNA. We have I think I have pretty nice a smell. Major histocompatibility complex, or MHC. They're a group of genes that mm. do coding to help out the immune system, and they influence body odor. So bathing yourself in cologne doesn't change anything. Don't even say the what like that. What the fuck are you... Bro, don't act like you don't do that. MHCs to their own. This is hypothesized to encourage gene variability. Oh. Thus, a stronger immune system. Number three, excessive focus on appearance. Fuck! Okay. We're all into Kurosis, looking good and feeling Kurosis. good. You do you and love yourself for it. Just don't let it go overboard. Sure, initial encounters are strongly influenced by a physical Bro, I'm wearing like a fucking- I'm wearing shorts, no socks, untrimmed toenails, fucking overgrown as shit, and like, sweaty ass hair from playing Beat Saber with a white shirt. Man! Yes, but that's fleeting. Fuck my life. No matter how much of a hottie they appear to be, if all they care about is their self-image, that becomes a repulsing factor. It's true that in the end, we need substance. And if all we're getting is air, we're out Number four, not being humble. Okay, I I'd say when I'm... You get a win, okay, but I feel like this is a problem in both ways. Because I've been told I'm annoying because I'm too you humble. Win, do you crow that it was... Like, I've been told that I get so annoying because I never... I never, say, I never say anything good about myself. <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah, because like, okay, if you watch me a lot, I, every time someone ever compliments me, 
If you ever watch me, you'll see what happens. What you just described sounds like my Asian uncle at every family gathering. <laughs> it's all you that you're just legendary and single-handedly did it all. Or you can't take a compliment. I can't. Helped you, like friends, teachers, family, and maybe even that one cashier. Staying humble, that's bullying yourself. <laughs> every shift just to make sure you could get some food at the end of the night. <laughs> Humility? I'm not used to getting compliments, so I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to accept them or how to start, make myself say that I deserve them. With humble partners being scored as more attractive than arrogant ones. So although we like to contribute for the good of the cause, we still want to be acknowledged for our part. Right. Whether it be a project or a partnership. Throws compliments if that recognition you. is usurped, where I didn't mention it. I did notice it when people real, were complimenting you and Osu. Or used. I will fucking find Number out where you live. Overly smiley or too proud. Related to the previous point. Overly smiley? About how you Bro, I'm like overly negative. <laughs> yourself or appear in pictures. If Does that mean I'm attractive? Puffed out and Hell arrogant, yeah, let's go. It gives the same vibe. Bro, I'm like humble. depressed every day. Type of non that must mean I'm attractive then, I guess. That smile can't be trusted. And hey, yo. override the well-being of anyone other than themselves. And number six, Canine contractive body language. Contractive? Turtles are cute, but it's because they're turtles. You're a human. Don't try to turtle yourself. It was found in a study My body language is fucking that people become horrible. more attractive when their posture and bodily display are more expansive. Like open arms and a non-hunched back. It signals <laughs> welcome. The opposite of that? Uh, Brandon, thank you so body much language, for the Like crossing your arms and legs and hunching over decreases desirability. This is conveying a message of, don't come close. I'm closing myself off from you. So if you mm. want to welcome people in, go ahead and put your body into it. We mm. used to think attraction equals physical beauty. Yeah, but but like, bro, if you're standing like this, your, your like heart is open. Like someone can attack it. Standing like this, like I don't know what to do with my arms. You know what I mean? Like if I, if I stand up right now, if I'm standing, I don't know what to do with my arms. Like, I just have them at the side? If I have them at the side, I look like a fucking Roblox character. Like, I, I look like Kanye West in the fucking, you're such a fucking hell, I love it. Like that fucking song. I, I don't want to look like that, man. So I'm like, okay, what do I do with my hands then? Okay, well, maybe I'll put them in my pockets. If I have them in my pockets, oh, if it's in your pockets, then you're, you're too uh, reserved because you're hiding your hands away. Okay, then, then I'll put them around my pockets with only my thumbs inside them and the rest of my hand can just be on there. Oh, but now you look like a cowboy. You look so fucking stupid. Okay, then. Well, then I'll put my hands behind my back. Oh, what are you doing? You, you look so fucking posh. What are you doing with that shit? Okay, then I'll cross my arms. Oh, but you're being too reserved because you're crossing them. Oh my God. Where, where the fuck am I supposed to put my hands then? Where do I put my hands? You want them on your face? What the fuck do you want me to do with my hands? So, you're at a party when you notice a very attractive... In Already, this is unrelatable. And also, is that Donald Trump? What's that? Anyway. Thanks for being here. Hey, Sectagores, welcome back to our channel. So, you're at a party when you notice a very attractive individual is looking your way. Okay. You're not the best at conversation starters and pickup lines. Deep down, you just wish the person you would admire. Already, would this it. is completely wrong. Dude, if someone attractive is looking at me, like, I'd probably, like, look at them with like the most ugly, disgusting, like bitch face because I have like a resting bitch face. And then like, they'd look away after. And like, I'm, I'm only looking like that because I'm wondering why they're looking at me, but I'm not trying to be a bitch, but I just have a bitch face because I'm like confused on why they're looking at me. They're way over to you. How can you grab their attention <laughs> and attract them to do so? Well, there are a few ways. Here's how to attract someone without saying anything. Number one, show you're open to talking by using open body language. Oh. People approach others Spread. more easily if they simply look, well, approachable. Show you're Fuck open man. to dating them with a bit of open body language. <sighs> Dr. Monica Moore, a psychologist at Weber University in St. Louis, has conducted research on the flirting techniques used in singles bars, shopping malls, and places young people go to meet each other. Author Nicholas Boothman writes in his book, how to make someone fall in love with you in 90 minutes or less. That's why Jojo pose. That, psychologist Dr. Monica Moore found that it's not always the good looking who get approached the most. 
but the ones who signal their availability and confidence through basic flirting techniques mm. like eye contact and smiles. Just signaling eye contact. When someone gets you halfway there. Keep your chest. Okay, I have a problem with eye contact, guys. So, in regards to eye contact, I saw a TikTok before that was like, you wanna you wanna be a psycho and freak someone out? Look at the top of their forehead instead of their eyes. And now I try not to look at their forehead, but my brain subconsciously makes me want to look at their forehead. And then I'm just like, fuck, man. I don't know. I don't know where to look now because I'm trying not to look at your forehead, but your eyes are right there next to the forehead. And then if I stare right in your eyes, it's a little awkward. So I'm like, man, what, what do I do? And torso open and try not to cross your arms as much. Closed body language can give off the impression you aren't available or simply don't want to talk. <laughs> So maintain confidence and open body language, and when you notice you look at the floor, at you, don't shy away. Simply respond with a smile. Look between the eyes. Maintain good grooming and dress to impress. I'm not a groomer. Dressing nice and I'm being just a well loser. groomed is an easy way to get someone to notice you. It can be admirable to see someone very well put together, and having great hygiene is an attractive quality in and of itself. Express who you are by wearing what makes you feel confident and happy. If you feel like you. I fucking wear like all black, a fucking massive black hoodie with fucking black tracksuit bottoms and like <laughs> sunglasses. <laughs> You'll probably feel more comfortable and approachable to others. Number three, look into their eyes and maintain good eye contact. So mm, your okay. crush just looked your way and now you've met their gaze. So this is what I'm supposed to do, huh? Eye contact and don't be afraid to smile. Yo, last year with the tier three, three, two months. Rick Rubin Fucking conducted man. a study where he recorded how much time lovers would spend looking into each other's eyes. He found K9, that individuals K9. who were not in love you, looked at each other 30 to 60 percent of the time. Yeah, while stare, chat, stare into the eyes. Stared into each other's eyes 75 percent of the time when talking. When someone else entered the room or interrupted mm. them, they were much slower to turn away from their partner's gaze. So it's best to meet their gaze as opposed to turning away quickly. If you're both mm. in a group discussion, meeting their eyes every now and then may key them into the idea that you find them attractive. When you do approach them, try to look into their eyes. Then. Guys, that was, this is reminding me of like, I was in a relationship before where like, I'm not very, I'm pretty like reserved, right? I don't like going out and talking to people. And we went out and then... Any, I don't know if anyone can relate to this, but like those situations where like you're an introvert and you're with someone or it doesn't even have to be a partner. It could just be a friend and you kind of hover around them. Like they walk around and they talk to people and you kind of like you don't take your eyes off them because like you don't know how to talk to any of these people and you don't know any of them. You don't even know what to talk about. So you just like hover next to the person that you know and just kind of like fucking if they leave if they're like yo i have to go to the bathroom you're like oh yeah i'll come wait and then they're like no 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 you, you just stay here and talk with, with them and i'm like uh, no, no no it's okay I, I i might need to go to the bathroom too maybe i don't know you know and then like you wait and then you're just sat sitting there with people you don't know and then they're all talking and then all of a sudden they go oh so uh who are you and you're like <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, man. I hate that shit. 5% of the time when you're talking, the brain remembers the last time I hate someone it. they loved stared at them in the same way. They will associate this stare with feelings of love. Why? Well, this lovely memory causes a release of phenylethylamine, which is known as a love drug. Phenylethylamine is released in the brain when someone falls in love. The chemical I see. mimics the brain chemistry of someone. Pretend who you got a phone call. Love. Number four, <laughs> smile. Feel like smiling? Let those pearly whites show. A study published in the Bulletin of the Psychonomic Society smile. found smiling might just make you more attractive. According to the study, Fucking women in the smile. experiment who smiled 70% of the time were God seen as that. more interpersonally attractive than a woman who seldom smiled. So remember to give a gentle smile when you do meet their eyes. Oh, Weebzard, what is that? Join the club they're in and try activities they enjoy. So what the fuck is that? Someone? Let's say you have a crush on a classmate. You notice they're part of the school band. Pick up some sheet music and get practicing on that tuba. Maybe oh. they could teach you a few measures of their favorite piece. 
Mm. The thing is, our brains are motivated to spend more time around those we like, so we might as well do so by engaging in a hobby with them. Okay. According to dating psychologist Madeline Mason Rowntree, the rewards I'll tell my friend all this. can increase our motivation to spend more time with whoever we like. If we mm -hmm. enjoy being around them, why wouldn't we want to hang out with them more? She explains that you may just start to crave. And people will tell you to smile more. I hate it's it. It's not uncommon for people to take up nah, hobbies bro. or enroll in. You know what I hate, chat? To be I hate when you're not speaking, and then they say, "Why aren't you speaking?" And you're just like listening. And then the, they, and then everyone goes silent. They look at you, and then they wait for you to speak. Now, and then the opposite spectrum of it as well where you are speaking and you're having fun and then they turn to you and go, you're speaking a lot today. Man, I want, I want to fucking, you want to go? You want to fucking go, mate? God, I swear to God, piss me off. Them, even if they weren't initially into the hobby or activity itself before. Roan Tree explains, it also gives you something else you can talk to them about and perhaps piss it's a way to off, entice man. them to get closer to you. So once you discuss with them their hobbies and clubs, Invite them to try your activities that you love as well. <laughs> and number six, hang out with a group of friends. Recent Man, how the fuck am I supposed to... People tend to find others more attractive. <sighs> fuck off, then. Just fuck off, man.